you are about to embark on the wonderful adventure of scuba diving. You will be given the means to enjoy Earth's last frontier, the underwater world. Before you begin your adventure, there are risks you must be aware of and understand. Be aware that water is not a human's natural environment. Any time you enter the water to scuba dive, there is the risk of an accident that may include injury or even death. At first, you will need to listen to and learn from your instructor, who will teach you how to be a scuba diver. But the very essence of the course is to make you independent, so the responsibility for your well-being depends on you. Because your safety basically depends on your personal actions and how well you apply yourself and follow the rules, you will be required to sign a series of forms. It is very important that you read each form carefully so you understand fully what you are signing and what rights you are relinquishing. Let's now watch an overview of the areas of risk in scuba diving. You will see that if you follow the safety rules discussed in your course, the risks are relatively small and controllable, and you can learn to be a responsible diver. Anyone who is interested in diving, has good physical and mental health, and is comfortable in the water, can learn to scuba dive. Good physical and mental fitness means good general health. You do not need to be a super athlete, but you do need to be reasonably fit, as scuba diving puts stress on both your body and your mind. There are some pre-existing medical contraindications that might disqualify you from scuba diving. To help you review this aspect of fitness, your instructor will provide you with a medical history form. Please complete it honestly. We do care about your well-being. Areas of particular concern are the circulatory and respiratory systems, air spaces, and any condition that might cause a person to pass out or lose consciousness. If there is any concern about your medical condition, you will be asked to have a medical exam by a licensed medical practitioner before participation in open water scuba activities. Substance abuse of any kind, be it alcohol, drugs, or smoking, has no place in scuba diving. If you have any problem with any of these, it is far better to deal with the problem before you take scuba lessons. A key element to your success as a scuba diver is motivation. You have to want to do it. You should not be in a scuba class to please someone else if you are unduly afraid of the water or the activity. With good physical and mental fitness, you are now ready to proceed to the water aspects of scuba diving. To be a scuba diver, you need to be comfortable in the water and able to swim, but you do not need to be a great swimmer. You will be learning a whole new aquatic activity called scuba skills. There will always be some risk to scuba diving, but by being knowledgeable of that risk, you can reduce it. Scuba diving is an equipment-intense activity. Without special equipment, we could not see, breathe, or move underwater. Proper, complete dive equipment that fits and is adjusted for you is essential to comfortable, efficient scuba diving. Misuse of diving equipment is the main concern, as malfunction rarely causes accidents. Manufacturers supply warning labels about proper use and care of equipment and the importance of proper training to prevent misuse. Breathing and pressure changes are also of particular importance to scuba divers. Because water weighs a great deal more than air, pressure increases rapidly as you go down and must be equalized. Your diving equipment and the skills you learn in class will prepare you to handle these pressure changes. Obviously, it is very important to have enough air to breathe underwater. Running out of air is usually a result of human error and puts a diver at great risk. Because the air you breathe is compressed and the pressure changes quickly as you go down and up, you will learn to breathe all the time and to equalize pressure in your body's air spaces, which includes the ears and sinuses. Failure to equalize with the pressure underwater may cause damage to your ears or sinuses. If you were to hold your breath and ascend, you could suffer an overexpansion injury, 
This is a serious injury. Remember, scuba diving does present a risk. However, by knowing what to do, you can reduce that risk. Buoyancy control is a primary skill of scuba diving. Proper use of a well-fitting buoyancy compensator, or BC, makes diving safer, easier, more comfortable, and more enjoyable. Much of your training in your scuba course will focus on learning to use buoyancy control to your advantage while underwater. But buoyancy control is also important on the surface. Keeping your BC inflated on the surface allows you to rest easily. Communicating with and maintaining contact with both your instructor and dive buddy adds to the enjoyment and safety of diving. This includes following instructions and the safe rules of diving, while keeping your instructor informed of your special needs and concerns. An equally important responsibility as a diver is to not leave your dive buddy during any diving activity. Control is a key concept in scuba diving. This means you are in control of your mind, body, and total diving system, so you can effectively deal with the environment, your body, and yourself. In diving, we talk about staying in your comfort zone by knowing your limits. This provides a margin of safety in difficult situations and helps you keep faith with the cardinal rule of all adventuresome activities. Stay calm, don't panic. All of these things taken together will help you develop a level of awareness so you are ready to participate in scuba diving. You will learn to reduce risk, but it cannot be eliminated. Ultimately, you will be responsible for your own well-being and enjoyment of diving. Because you have been informed of many of the risks of scuba diving, you can now go through the details of completing the necessary forms in which you acknowledge this information. You can then begin your diving course and your exploration of the underwater world.